Elemental have boosted their performance. I'm not joking, it's real. They've been saying that for a little while now with some of their recent releases, especially in the beta version Elemental 3.21. They've been improving performance, optimization, loading of images, time to first spike. And I've now done a proper test, and here's why. I did a video in January 2024 on how you could optimize your page speed performance for basically any WordPress website. Go and watch it, the link is in the video description. And when you take a blank, fresh WordPress installation, you've got Elemental Free and Elemental Pro on there. And when you have a blank page, right, no header footer, just a blank page, no images, and you pop in a heading, your score will be in the region of 70, 75%, okay? And it's not until you add in some code snippets, some optimization tools like FastPress and WP Fastest Cache, that you'll get your score to 100%. And there's loads of tools you could use, SG Optimizer, WP Rocket, Perf Matters, to get your score up. So you can get there, but you have to do a little bit of extra work. Well, I'm now going to show you that things have drastically changed. So here's the scores for a fresh WordPress installation with just Elemental Free and Elemental Pro, no other optimization plugins, no code snippets, nothing whatsoever. It has got beta version 3.21 activated on the free and the pro, but here's a blank page. It's got a heading, but it's 99% on the desktop and 94 on the mobile. Now you're going to say, but that is still not 100% Imran. Yeah, I know. But before, when you did that same blank page with a heading, right, with, with the same no optimization, just Elemental Free and Elemental Pro, you were hitting roughly 70 75%. You need to do quite a bit of legwork. Well, now that exact same blank page with a heading is 99 for the desktop and 94 for the mobile. Well, okay, you're probably going to go, yeah, but it's still just a blank page with a heading. What happens when you do a bit more? Okay, so I did do a bit more. I went and created the ugliest homepage possible. Basically, it's got like a full screen background image. We've got a heading, text, couple of buttons, image, text, buttons, header, repeated it, swapped it around, added in some icons, added in a testimonial carousel as well. And you would have seen that move every five seconds. There you go, it moves. And when I just did a copy of the hero banner above and just made it a bit slimmer. I know this is not an expansive page, but I just wanted to go and throw some things on. Again, this is just Elementor and Elementor Pro. Beta version 3.21 with no other optimization plugins or code snippets or anything whatsoever. So what would the score now be? Remember, it was 99 on the desktop and 94 on the mobile with a blank page. It's still 99 on the desktop and 92 on the mobile. The desktop is still 99. The mobile has gone from 94 to 92. This is significant, okay? Because I haven't got any optimization tools. I have to keep repeating it. There's no code snippets. And this is where we are. Yeah, I know, it's not 100%. I would like to be in the 99 region for the mobile, but it's not there, but it's still over 90%. And we have got images, all right? We have got stuff going on there. I haven't even custom loaded any fonts in, right? Yes, the images are WebP, I will admit that, but there's no custom loaded fonts here. I'm just using uh, default fonts at the moment, custom loaded, and it probably wouldn't have made much difference anyway. But the scores are really, really high. Now, what is the reason why the mobile is not like anywhere near 100%? It's because you get that warning, you know, eliminate render blocking resources. I hate that one. But the moment you go and add in a plugin like WP Rocket, Perf Matters, FastPress, or any one of those, it will sort out the asynchronizational loading of your CSS style sheets. It will sort that out. So your score will go flying up. But most people will install a performance plugin, no doubt. So that will handle that aspect of it. And it will handle like any unused CSS as well and clean all that up. So again, your score will jump up. This is seriously significant, okay? I mean, I'm not going to start telling you the standard deviation to clarify, is it definitely significant? Or what is the algorithm calculation for the, you know, relativity and all that? Compared to what was happening before, go and watch the January the 1st, 2024 video, blank page, what is your score? What you got to do to get it up? For us now to start at 99 or 94-ish, it will depend on your server speed and, you know, your scores do go up and down depending on how things fly at that point in time. But to be hitting 99 desktop, 92 on the mobile, and I know I haven't got loads of stuff on the page, 
but quite a lot of websites I've seen basic landing pages have roughly that amount of stuff or less and they're hitting like 40%. You can't say that Elementor are not doing things behind the scenes, okay? And they're not completely there. You know, things evolve, things move on, but they've started to address it. And I'm really glad, I'm really happy. I mean, I'm not gonna say don't do the page speed performance things that I recommend because they will affect other things in your website. I would still recommend you do them. For those that don't, or for those that forget, or for those that are trying to get something quick and out and dirty out the door really quick and they didn't know or weren't aware of these snippets and things to do, this helps you out. Please don't start saying, oh, well, it's elemental and there's other page builders though where the score is higher or whatever. This is not about that. And quite frankly, I don't care because you can take any page builder in the world where the scores are really high from the get go. And then when you add things on, the scores do do this, all of that. All right. And everyone at some point is going to be using some optimization performance tool or a snippet here or there to get things to jump up. But for me, from the get go now, if the scores are starting that high up, hey, you're in a good place from the get go. Anyway, I've got to go. Take care. See you soon. Bye.